Okay. So let us see this problem. A Carnot's engine operates with an efficiency of 40 percent. So efficiency 40 percent means 40 by 100 I can write now. Percentage efficiency is 40. It means that it is 40 divided by 100. This is the efficiency. So 40 divided by 100 means 0 0.4. So temperature of the sink is how much? Sink means a T2 value only, no? So T2 value is 27 plus 273. See, my here you should be very careful. It is given in Celsius here. But we are supposed to convert into Kelvin. So it is uh, 300 Kelvin. Okay. So then some operation he is doing that we will discuss later. But first of all, I need a T1. No? Temperature of the reservoir, I don't know. So substitute here. So efficiency is equals to 1 minus T2 divided by T1. So efficiency is 0 0.4. So 1 minus uh, T2 value is uh, 300 divided by T1. Okay, ma? So first we are supposed to calculate T1 value. Okay, ma? So see how fast I can do T1 value. T1 value is 500 Kelvin. So T1 is 500. Okay? Atla fast ga chayalan mata calculations. So once I calculate T1, now let us see what he is giving. So by what amount should the temperature of uh, source should be increased so that efficiency increases by 10 percent previously what is the efficiency 40 now efficiency should increase by 10 percent it means the total efficiency total efficiency is 50 percent it means 0 0.5 okay ma? so this is again equal to 1 minus t2 divided by t1 so temperature of what he is asking us to increase temperature of uh, source should be increased it means the sink temperature is same no sink temperature is how much 300 so 300 divided by t2 dash t2 dash oh sorry t1 dash t1 dash means final temperature of the reservoir are you able to understand so therefore 0 0.5 is equals to 1 minus 300 divided by t1 dash now let us do this calculation so 300 divided by t1 dash this is equals to 1 minus 0 0.5 which is equal to 1 by 2 that's all number so therefore uh, t1 dash is equals to 600 okay it means the uh, temperature of the uh, reservoir should be how much 100 uh, 600 but what was the initial temperature of reservoir 500 it means how much temperature i have to increase 100 that is my answer okay so therefore a rise in temperature of reservoir a rise in temperature of reservoir is how much ma it is equals to 600 minus 500 is equal to 100 degrees celsius that is my answer 100 degrees celsius 100 degree kelvin both are same because this is rise in temperature no 100 degrees celsius i know what i answer 100 degree kelvin i know same answer okay that's it. Enter Marco Legiri po thay kuda. Doctor yevna na matter jaise na ranko ande. Wala parents hoche me mali matter jastar. Hamdo ke negative marking gur unta the neatlo, mains lo. Okay? Na ah, same. So let us see fan, 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 fan. <laughs> scale this ko nu gur chunta repan nche. Na ah, scale deoji. But rocket but. So, Carnot engine works between temperatures of 427 and 27. Okay, ma? it means first of all we have to calculate efficiency, you know, 1 minus T2 divided by T1. Okay, so 1 minus T2 is 27 plus 273 divided by T1 value is 427 plus 273. That's all, number. So therefore, efficiency is how much? 1 minus uh, 300 divided by 700. That's all, no? So it is uh, 400 divided by 700, which is uh, 4 by 7. This is the efficiency of this heat engine. So first we get value up to here, no? Then, now let us see what is the question he is asking. So what amount of heat it should consume per second uh, to deliver mechanical work at the rate of 1 kilowatt? So, power delivered is how much? Power delivered is nothing but work done, no? 
power delivered by the engine is nothing but power given by the engine or work done by the engine. So work done by the engine is 1 kilowatt or you can write it is uh, 1000 watts or you can call it as 1000 joules per second. What is joules per second only? No? Now what he is asking how much heat it should consume? Consume means what? Consume means energy received from the source. Okay. So what is the efficiency? Efficiency is nothing but work done divided by Q1 normal. Huh? So work done divided by energy received from the source. Hmm? Efficiency already we have calculated how much? 4 by 7. Work done, work done is 1000 divided by Q1. So from this just you calculate Q1 value. That is our answer. So Q1 is equals to 1000 multiplied by 7 by 4. Okay ma? So 7000 divided by 4. So 7000 divided by 4 is how much? 7 by 4 is how much ma? 1.75 I think. Okay. So 1.75 thousand is there no? So uh, kilo joules. I can write like this. Understood number? 1.75 kilojoules. Now if you want to convert this one into uh, what you called uh, calories, how can you convert? Uh, 1 calorie is equal to 4.2 joules number. 1 calorie is equal to 4.2 joules. So therefore 1 joule is how much? 1 joule is equal to 1 by 4.2 calories. So it means multiply with this uh, total value by 4.4.2, pi, 4 it converts into calories also. Okay. So where shall I do? I will do. I will do here, ma. Okay. So therefore, Q1 is nothing but 1.75 multiplied by thousand multiplied by instead of joule means one joule, no? Instead of one joule, I can write. 1 by 4.2 calories. So do this calculation, you will get answer in terms of calories also. Okay? That's it. That is how we can do the calculation. And the answer which you should get is in terms of calories it is for 0 0.417 kilocalories or you can write just 417 calories. 417 calories per second. Here I have joules per second, no? so here also units I will get a kilo joules per second, calories, kilo joules per second. Okay, ma? so we should be careful about units also. Triangle. Okay, so done. Ma? So refrigerator is designed by operating Carnot seat engine in reverse direction. It means it is a reverse seat engine. Okay, ma? So inside the temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. Inside the temperature is nothing but T2, no? Temperature of the uh, sink. Okay, ma? Inside the temperature is cooler for a refrigerator. Outside the temperature is hotter. Are you able to understand? So which is at a lower temperature, that is the temperature of sink. Higher temperature, temperature of reservoir. Okay, ma? So T2 value is how much? Minus 10. Minus 10 can also be written as uh, plus 263 Kelvin. That's all, no ma? And uh, inside, outside the temperature means temperature of the reservoir. Temperature of the reservoir is 30. 30 plus 273. 30 plus 273 is how much, ma? 303 Kelvin. That's all, no? So these are the temperatures. Is it clear? Now, he is asking beta. Coefficient of performance beta. What is beta? Let us... Study the defin definitions. If you forget the formula, okay, ma? you need to remember the definitions. Once you understand the concept, you can build the formula by yourself. Okay? What is beta? Heat rejected to sink. Heat rejected to sink divided by the amount of work done. This is called as beta, no? Okay, ma? Heat rejected to the sink is nothing but Q2. Work done is nothing but Q1 minus Q2. That's all, no? And uh, by Carnot's uh, theorem, what we studied? We studied that efficiency is 1 minus T2 by T1. Efficiency is also 1 minus Q2 by Q1 also. 
it means instead of t2 by t1 I can write q2 by q1 also so therefore instead of this formula I can write simply t2 divided by t1 minus t2 I can write like this also no need of finding again efficiency hmm? so we have one more relation nama. beta is equals to 1 minus efficiency by efficiency you can solve by this method also but this is a longer method okay so just use this method okay so therefore beta value is how much t2 where is t2 t2 is 263 divided by t1 is 303 minus how much ma? 263 okay ma? so just do this calculation that is my answer hmm? 6.5 ama 5.9 it's not a we do check the answer one time he gave the answer is a 5.9 ma okay once check it much end 6.5 6 point something you will get in the cinema make 6 point 4 or 5 5.9 is not correct okay that's it.